If you have a dog, chances are you have a lost dog story. The director of animal services, Dawn Danielson, has one from years ago that made the local paper because her dog went for a 40-mile walk. A lot of people saw him because after this, this story made the paper because he had gone such a great distance, uh, people were calling and saying, gee, I saw him on the, you know, on the Hutchinson River Parkway and this and that. If we had had this technology, they could have taken a picture, immediately known that I was missing him, called me and let me know where they saw him. The technology Miss Danielson is talking about is a new mobile app developed by an outside company called Finding Rover. It's a free service available for Apple and Android phones that adds your dog to a growing database which is called upon if your rover ever goes wandering. We already know that there's facial recognition for people out there and they went to these companies and said we want you to do that same technology but for dogs and the company said it can't be done. So they spent their own money, hired some researchers from the University of Utah and said make it happen and they did make it happen. Here's how it works. You download the app to your phone Call up the camera, press the bark button to get the dog's attention, then snap a picture of the face. To activate the face recognition, you tag the dog's eyes and nose, and then the photo's analyzed and uploaded. From here forward, if you ever lose your dog, an alert is sent to other users in the area. Likewise, if someone finds your dog, they can take a picture, and the face recognition software will match it to the picture on file. It's a modern solution to an age-old problem. Right now, by law, dogs are required to have a, a, a dog license on them at all times. A lot of people have microchips as well, both very good tools to help an animal get reunited with an owner. But if a tag, a tag can fall off, a collar can fall off, and for a microchip, you'd actually have to be able to catch that dog and drive him to a veterinary hospital or, or to an animal shelter and have him scan for a microchip. With Finding Rover, all you have to do is just snap a photograph of the dog. That's all you have to do. Of course, you have to have a large network of dogs and users in the system to make this work. Up until now, the app has relied on individuals to find out about it and start using it. San Diego County's Animal Services, though, is leading the way towards broader use. We'll be the, uh, the first agency, the first shelter, if you will, uh, to have this technology in use. This is going to allow us, our animal control officers out in the field, if they find a lost dog, they can take a picture, send it to Finding Rover, and if that owner has posted that they're missing that dog, will have facial recognition, be able to take that dog home. Which is a much better outcome than having to take that dog to the shelter. Dogs will, of course, still be brought into the shelters by members of the public, but they'll be uploaded too. There's thousands of dogs that are lost and missing in San Diego, 12,000 of which come through our shelters on an annual basis. That's 12,000 more animals that we will be able to take a picture of and put into Finding Rover and see if that dog has an owner somewhere and get it home. What's critical is that owners, please, your dog's sitting at home, snap a picture, doesn't cost anything. This is not going to work if people don't get involved. That's what it's about. It's about getting pictures in. Tell your neighbors, your friends, your, your relatives. Uh, anybody can use this. You just need a phone. In the County News Center, I'm Dominic Fulgoni.